This is the auto finishes add-in. Once you install it, you can find it under add-ins, auto finishes. When you click on the button, you're going to see this big list of all the rooms in your entire project. And here you have this powerful filter. So you can filter by room names and room numbers. In this project, the room numbers are codes for where these rooms are found. The one stands for the house, then you have the floor, and then you have the position on that floor plan. And this is pretty standard in many projects. So if I want to filter the bathrooms in this house, I can filter here by typing bathroom, which is the name of the rooms. Then I can type in one, and this is giving me the bathrooms in this house. And if I type in zero here, in this project, that means the first level, level zero. Let's do these finishes for the entire building. We can hit the check all, or we can individually select rooms. Here, we can choose whether we want to create a floor, walls, and ceilings for each of these rooms. And here we can choose which floor type and which walls types we want to use. Let's create a ceiling as well. And here we can specify the heights. My project is in millimeters. That's why I'm seeing these default heights here as millimeters. However, if you work in feet and inches, you're going to be able to type in here with feet and inches. Let's hit the create finishes button and see what happens. Once the tool is done working, you're going to see a window like this. In this case, we have applied the following finishes for 64 rooms. You can close that window. So we can see that now we have these tiles and finishing walls in the bathrooms. And these finishing walls are joined to the existing walls. This allows for any existing openings like doors and windows to be cut in the new walls as well. So here you can see it in 3D, our newly created ceiling, the newly created walls, and the newly created floor here, which is also joined to the existing floor. So it cuts from the existing floor. As you can see, if I hide it here, the two will create finishing walls on top of existing normal walls columns and other room bounding elements, but it will not create walls on top of curtain walls or room boundaries. Additionally, when your selected wall type is of a wall that is thicker than a certain thickness, you have this warning here that this thickness could create problems. Let's try and see what happens. Let's create finishes for this room and you can see how the finishes are created. The floor still follows the room boundaries. However, you can see that no walls are created where we have a room boundary and where we have a curtain wall. And here you can see what happens because of that thickness of the wall. So when you have like a tiny segments like that with a thick wall, the joints between these wall could, of course, cause some problems like this that you might want to fix with the wall joints too. And here you can see that finishing walls were created around the existing columns as well. If we change the default length unit from millimeters to feet and inches and go back to the program, you can see that that change has applied to the app as well. And the default value here is indeed in feet and inches. So that's how to use the auto finishes app. Thank you for watching this.